So let's move on to the next step. Okay, I'm going to make some changes. Um, so let me see. It will be at the level of main that I would have changed things. I don't think anything else. Oh yeah, maybe the yeah variables would have changed. Um, okay, so up top again we have our web server AWS instance. Nothing has changed there. Okay. Ah, no, one thing has changed already. Yeah. Um, two things. So I've added a key name. So I'm going to add an SSH key because in fact that VM we had created, we could not connect to it at all for two reasons. I hadn't created a security group opening up port 2020, 22, sorry, for SSH. And I hadn't provided uh, an SSH key to uh, allow me to uh, connect. Okay. So what we're going to do here is, first of all, we get Terraform to generate uh, a private key. Okay, now we could provide our own, but in this case, I'm choosing to have Terraform provide that. This will be an ephemeral uh, key. Uh, ephemeral meaning because when I do destroy this configuration, it, along with all the other resources, will get destroyed. Um, and then creating a AWS key pair using this private key, okay? And then I'm extracting that key pair to a local file in the pen format, okay? And the other thing I'm doing is I'm creating a AWS security group, set group, and I'm basically allowing SSH into this uh, this uh, this virtual machine from anywhere, and I shouldn't have any pem files hanging around. No, nope. so when I I'll go straight to the apply now. Okay, this time it's more interesting. It's telling us it will add five resources and it will destroy one. Okay, that destroy doesn't sound so good, but you know sometimes. You just have to put up with that. So the destroy, we go up in the lift here, we can see that our web server will actually be replaced. Okay, the reason for that is um, I'm now, um, I'm referring to a security group that this web server wasn't associated with before. So we actually need to recreate the resource. Okay, Terraform is good, but it isn't magic. In fact, and the, the addition of the, um, the key pair as well, uh, forces a recreation. Oops, sorry, move up. Okay. But it's nice to see that um, uh, Terraform is telling us which field uh, forces the replacement of this resource. That is actually fairly new. Uh, it's only in the last release or so that they added that. And the rest are the resources that we added into the main.tf. So this local field, local key file, which will be our, our pen file for connecting to the machine. Okay. And here it's telling us in terms of the outputs, we, we currently have this IP address. It is going to recreate the VM that will be replaced to some other address that we don't know yet. Obviously, we need to apply, and then we'll be informed of that. Okay. So first thing it's doing is to destroy the server. And then it will start to create a new server, create the other resources. And in particular, it's going to create this my AWS key.pem file for us, allowing us to actually connect into the VM. The, the slides, uh, yeah, probably um, I'll pass those through uh, Arden. The GitHub repo, I will actually put into the chat now. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, this question, wouldn't you recommend to use HashiCorp Vault? 
to create the private public key pair. Yeah, that would definitely be a simpler way of doing things. Um, the point is just keeping it simple for, for this demo. Okay, I don't want to introduce, introduce too many uh, concepts. And okay, so answering the next question, uh, so now, remember before I didn't have a pen file locally, that pen file has been created, okay? So you can see that, our pen key. And okay, I forgot to look at the outputs there. Uh, sorry. Uh, I, can, I see the output again. So now I know that if I use my my key, I use Ubuntu at and then this public IP address. Okay, I should be able to get to my virtual machine. Bad permissions, uh, bad dog. This time, yeah, there we go. So it's been up for one minute. I'm not going to go farther with that because for the moment, again, I lied. Uh, it's still just a server. The only difference is that now we can SSH into it. Uh, what we do next then is actually add uh, a very simple uh, web server. Okay.